project ranger of a sport we've dragged it out the car park haven't we tyler giving a bit of love and clean we've got loads to do to this but we keep getting distracted by that new defender toy which is my guilty pleasure at the moment right so what are we going to do today we have made a carbon fiber effect bonnet graphic we did this for the l494 before didn't we and people are saying well can we do one for the l320 and we can and we have julian's done it now i will point out julian this is just a prototype um, we were just discussing this and julian's now worked out how to cut the perimeter fully out so you won't have this extra white bit the problem with when you've got the white bit on the outside it's hard to work out if the gap on this side is the same as the gap on this side um, so i've just trimmed it as best i can we've got cutouts for the washer jet so you don't have to bother cutting or taking these out now when we did this on the l494 i got into a right pickle because we did one side first then we did this other side and the problem is these when you get to this corner you end up with this sort of excess material so i think i'm gonna this time leave the back tape the back half flip the front over and try and lay the front coming this way and i might i might not go back too far tyler i reckon because i'm, I'm going to struggle to reach in behind here aren't I? Yeah. so i reckon let's just sort of do it in let's do this front bit get that front bit stuck down and see how we go from there but i make it up as i go along i know you don't believe me out there but i do right what are we doing next then tyler so right tyler has cleaned it meticulously he's put some tea cut on it he's got it all so when you feel it there's no gritty bits because as soon as you get a gritty bit on it you just get a bump in your vinyl we've already got a little bit of the vinyl now we might need a heat gun later if we get into a pickle mightn't we tyler um, but we're going to try and do as much as we can without getting too fierce. Right, let's have a look. So we are going to, right, so first of all, we've cleaned it. Um, we'll put an alcohol wipe in as well, won't we, Tyler? Yeah. An alcohol wipe it. We've done all that. So we're all ready to go. You don't need to watch. Just do that. Right. You will need some Johnson's Baby Shampoo. Diluted, quite dilutedness. Just to make it slightly soapy because it is going to be a wet apply. Right, are we happy with the location of this, Tyler? It's hard to tell, isn't it? Assuming Julian's got those, those washer jets central. Assuming he's got those, and assuming I get the front about equal, I'm happy with that. Right. As I said, it'll be easier when we, when Julian does them. The ones that we put on the website will be... Right, so I need to pull it a little bit tight, don't I? Yeah, he's, he's taut across there and he's lying flat now. Oh, wait, no, right, now I need my little... I'll go behind you. Right, we got our little zoom. Our little slidey cutter that goes across. Right, make sure our hands are all... Well, I, I don't reckon I'm going to go yet. Ooh. I'm gonna get my little mucky prints on it too much. I reckon that'll stay there all right. Yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. All right then. And then we can zip off the... Now we had to be careful we did this the other time. Oy. I've been drink, drink driving there, Tyler, look at that. What's going on there? Poof. This is right then. Um, oh, right, we're going to do these in two finishes. There's me getting all carried away. We've got this matte black sort of functional film finish, and we've got the carbon fiber finish. So we've got, so there you go, that's how it will come. Look, look, he has done one for us. So that's how Julian's going to, he, he put it on there so well. We were just saying, why hasn't Julian done one? He was going to do one as a demo, but he lined it up so beautifully, we didn't tell. There you go. Right, so that's how you will get it, like that. Perfect, there you go, right. God. State of us, right then. Right, let's not get distracted. Right. Plenty of water. Right, and so. So I, I reckon the plan is gonna sort of be, if you help me hold the corner, Tyler, I reckon we need to get that middle down first, yeah. 
and then work it out to that corner that way and then work it out to the yeah. corner this way, yeah? Yeah. Right. So we need to pull it a little bit tight, don't we? Right, and you just hold it up a little bit. That's it. Or oh, let me down a little. That's it. Well, I reckon, Tyler, let's put the camera on the trolley jack, shall we? And then we can both work on this and they can watch us and we'll speed it up. Right, there we go, we're all set up. Right, and Tyler, what are you reckoning? Take your, take your tape off, I reckon. We have to flip it all the way back, aren't we? I guess we can do it all the way back with the backing on, can't we, look? In fact, we could we could just peel like you were saying, do it in thirds. Just peel half half of what's remaining back. And don't let us forget to put the water on, Tyler. Yeah, you want to take over? Right. Then. It's gone on loads, but that, that is definitely the yeah, yeah. right. Let's, should we do the rest? Oh, I can just do the rest yeah, of it now, yeah. isn't it? Oh. Yes, it is this right, then? A bit of water on that. Yeah. Would it be easier to do without the, the bonnet vents in it? We better off as be easier. Would it be easier to pop the bonnet vents out and do another cut without those holes in, do it all, and then just pop through? Because you better feel where it is, won't you? Right, Tyler and I have finished the vinyl. That's our best one to date. It's the trickier bit, and this is the point of some debate. The trickiest bit turned out to be the around these. Now it started to crease a lot. Now. It may be easier to remove the washer jets and cover it over and then poke through the washer jets. That may be easier for the vinyl, but the washer jets help you loads in lining it up, don't they? So let us know how you get on with that. We'll look, listen to your feedback. If it all goes wrong, let us know and we'll, we'll send you out another one or we'll look at changing it to without the washer jet holes um yeah let us know so me and tyler you watched the video we but th that's where we ended up spending a lot of the attention and the heat gun seemed to help there didn't it tyler and the trick seemed to be again we're not professionals at this but it seemed to be if you put the heat gun on it and then go with the scraper it's still soft it seemed to be if you get the heat gun on it it loosens the adhesive underneath i think with the heat and you can then 
let it just cool down a little bit and then it seemed to move that was where we got to really wasn't it tyler yeah. but we're pleased there it is tyler will do some little shots around that for you that is our attempt at bonnet wrapping on the l320 range Rover sport Right, we've been having a chat with Julian and he said, well, how hard is it to take the washer jets off? So, right, we are going to take the washer jets off. So here we go. So you've got a series of little, little what are they? Uh, fir tree, fir tree fixings. So you get one of these trim removal tools. Whoa. Right then. And you get these, these here. So that's the trim tool. Yeah, and we should get a series of these there's one there at the back it, it just got a little tongue that, that slips in so we're not too bad there we've got one in the middle here Ooh, that's it. don't drop it in the engine there you go look i've got a better technique there tyler you see that right then. I, mean, I, love dropping stuff in the I know <laughs> well, other than that or down the drain yeah. i still yeah that was hilarious <laughs> You couldn't have planned that, could you? Right. No mice living in there. They do like it in there, that is there. So that's quite clever, look, it's got a little, oh, I like that. It's got a sort of, not only has it got a tongue, it's got an arrowhead design. <clears throat> so there we go, all right. So how many, we got all of those. We got that off, we'll give that a clean. Right then, oh gosh, the drill's falling over. Right, so what have we got under here? So I'm flash, you know that anyway. But we've got a heated washer jets on here, so we've got an electrical connection. So you, you may not have an electrical connector, but if you push that in, you can remove that. And then you've got one of these little one-way valves here, and I don't think it matters which way you, which side of it you take off. But twist is better than pull, isn't it, Tyler, on these? Yeah. And then you've got a little spring clip there. You can push that spring clip on that. Oh, I think that. Ooh, ah, now you push the back against the spring clip. That's the way you do it. And then the spring clip, and then... And then you do that. So, well, we needed to make a decision, Tyler, don't we? I think we are going to supply that without the washer jet holes. I think the problems we've had today are all due to trying to get it around the washer jet. So when you do it, you will have a, a gap around your... You'll put it on... And then you'll have a, a gap. You'll be able to feel it with your finger where the gap is. And then you'll just have to use a knife. And I think you can fold it over the corner yeah. and then insert that back in. So I think our pain is your gain. So we will release these without the washer jet apertures. If you feel strongly that we've done the wrong thing, let us know and we'll change it. Right. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this video. Um, good luck with that.